Also at 11, we're following the story of a Dayton woman who was killed earlier this week in Colorado Springs. Two News was the first to speak with her parents who are searching for answers in their daughter's death. Two News reporter Allison Gens is digging deeper into this story. I talked with Abigail's parents tonight. They wanted to share who their daughter was, but also they want to find out who killed her. I always appreciated her sense of humor. I always did. I was always very pleased that she had that sense of humor. A witty spirit and a hard worker. Just a few of the ways Jonathan Miller describes his 32 year old daughter, Abigail. She went through a lot of adversity in her life, but she was always tough. She always persevered. But also, interestingly, she always had an innocence and sweetness about her. Jonathan and Sherry Miller adopted Abigail in 1990. She instantly became theirs. When we got her, she's just, uh, just she wasn't very heavy. She was, she's light. But I knew that when I saw her, that was my girl. Jonathan says Abigail moved to Colorado Springs for a job earlier this month and had been there no more than a week when he received a call from police that he and his wife will never forget. For me, it's in fits and starts. Sherry is uh, devastated. Abigail was found dead in a Colorado Springs park from a gunshot wound on Saturday, May 14th. Police currently have no suspects and are calling it a random act of violence. I assure you, it didn't seem random to Sherry and I. It seems pretty darn specific. Now, Abigail's parents want the police to find who killed their daughter to bring some justice to her death. The world is deprived. Somebody prematurely ended her life. And we certainly will live that. We'll take a little bite of that every day for the rest of our lives. Abigail's parents say anyone who wants to honor her to make a donation in her name to St. Vincent de Paul in Dayton. They also ask anyone with information that they may have to contact the Colorado Springs Police Department or their tip line 719-634-STOP. In the studio, Allison Gens, 2 News, working for you.